Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, marital missioner, and welcome to our daily gospel reading and reflection. Today's gospel reading is according to Saint Matthew, chapter nine, verses three to twelve. Some Pharisees approached Jesus and tested him, saying, "Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause, whatever?" He said in reply. Have you not read that from the beginning the Creator made them male and female, and said, "For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother, and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh? So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, man must not separate." They said to him, "Then why did Moses command that the man give the woman a bill of divorce and dismiss her?" He said to them. Because of the hardness of your hearts, Moses allowed you to divorce your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, and marries another, commits adultery. His disciples said to him, "If that is the case of a man with his wife, it is better not to marry." He answered, "Not all can accept this word, but only those to whom that is granted." Some are incapable of marriage because they were born so; some because they were made so by others; some because they have renounced marriage for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Whoever can accept this ought to accept it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. We remember today a heroic modern-day saint and martyr, Maximilian Kolbe. Saint Maximilian was a Franciscan friar who actively provided aid for refugees during World War II, including over 2,000 Jews who were seeking shelter from the Nazis. He was eventually arrested by the Gestapo, the German secret police, and sent to a concentration camp. There, he ministered to his fellow inmates until he volunteered to be put to death in place of a man with a family. It's very poetic how the gospel today captures the ultimate sacrifice made by Saint Maximilian, that he offered his life for another to protect the bond that he had with his wife and family. What a remarkable saint that we celebrate today! I am sure his love and respect for human life was a beacon of inspiration and hope to all, even in the darkest of circumstances. So it is fitting that he is the patron saint of families, the pro-life movement, and prisoners. So as we endeavor to promote and treasure all life, regardless of race, religion, or creed, let us ask the intercession of Saint Maximilian Kolbe for strength, inspiration, and hope, particularly during these challenging and fractured times. Thank you for listening to today's gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and inspiring day. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety dot org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine dot org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.